Everybody I get, this is Ross. We're here to run through the close of the month, triangle pose, trikonasana. So, Ross, I want you to take like just a plain old triangle, like it like would happen all the time. Just like feet, normal, and then just drop your hand like all the way to the ground. Like we always see. And then maybe a little more broken than that. Like you're leaning down, your eyes are down. And so I call this triangle wall. There's no space to breathe, not a lot of freedom, not a lot of stability. It's pretty wild. So let's kind of rebuild from scratch, come out all the way. First things first, a really wide gaze, so lots of stability. If you'll look, Ross is lined up, heel right to his instep, with lots of length. So then, starting on the origin, you just scrape your front knee on track. And now reach for the windows, keeping the length in the bottom of your ribcage. Nice. I'm going to help Ross out with a little block of six. Block the outside of your leg. So notice the first thing that happened. Just because Ross's base got wider, all of a sudden he got way more length in his spine. He's got space to breathe here, and he's got stability. He's got way more stability here. So the next piece is you want to work on breathing into length here, and then space across your collarbones. Nice. So shoulder blades close, space across your collarbones. Nice. So now as you breathe there, Ross, to get even more space, you start to take the black. Further to the outside, you off your mat, away from your shin. You can experiment. Where does it need to fall? So you can even bring a little up dog into your chest, a little open. Maybe you can go to spider fingers with your bottom hand. So that now the muscles of your core are supported. Yeah. So now look at your rasa up. Just by making more base, staying higher on a block, 